Right away here, no people. We can go faster. Testing, testing, one, two, awesome. Hey guys, what up? Duff here. Happy Easter. It's Easter. And no, I'm not spending my Easter eating ham or having family get-togethers. I'm spending my Easter riding with Ira. From I met Ira over on the East Coast uh, when uh, Dawn and I went over there to ride with those guys. And uh, he was generous enough to come over here and ride with me today. Hi, Ira. Too. <laughs> Ira has an extreme, a bigot extreme. The wheel was named after my famous saying, extreme. And we're gonna we're gonna go ride the 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 Greenway area and see see what kind of stuff I can show him. I forgot my wallet. I'm gonna grab my wallet. Forgot my wallet. Turn around. Could need it. <clears throat> Get my wallet and then we'll start for real this time. All right, so I just charged my patent for the first time with uh, the Roger charger, my Roger charger SC that I just got a few weeks ago. Charged it, did a great job. It was charging about 10 amps. Charged much faster than the stock charger and the additional information you get from Roger's charger is great. Um, I also had disabled that annoying as hell over voltage alarm. Finally, I got the right setting where you, you basically Aww. keep bumping up the number for the alarm until it's at a number that you would never hit. So I don't get that beep anymore after a full charge, which is nice. Um, I just have to make sure to no, not go crazy and like go down a steep decline right after charging because I don't want to blow my board, but um, yeah, I'm doing okay. So here we go. Like I said, we're going to the greenway, the back way. So I'm wearing my new LS2 helmet and I, I determined that there really isn't a good way to do a helmet mount on this with the way it ratchets and revolves and all that kind of stuff. So I bought a wrist, a wrist mirror, and um, in the first two minutes, the mirror part just fell out of it. it. Needs to be super glued back in or something. So yeah, so we're just gonna go mirrorless and we're just gonna do a lot of, a lot of this, a lot of that. So that's all right. Here we go, start again. Yeah, after riding uh, in the Miami side, traffic over here in Naples is a piece of cake, it really is. a little bit. Okay, today is apparently a GoPro F up day. It's uh, reset, I don't know. Three times, four times, I don't know. It's pissing me off. I need, to, uh, I need to get something else. I'm sick of this thing doing this to me. Cruising uh, by the airport. Now weaving in and out of the uh, Greenway. Funny, uh, Ira thought there's a, there's a greenway right by me that you see me do my top speed runs on, but it's just a straight shot, nothing around it. It's, I mean, they call it a greenway, but it's very, very boring. He had, he had no idea that this is the greenway that I was talking about. He thought I was talking about that boring one near me. This is way, way better. All right, taking Ira onto the mulch trail. Just watch out for mud. On the mulch trail. We have to see what the uh, the mud situation is like here. Hopefully not too bad today. Okay, there's some. A little soft. Oh boy. Ugh. All right. Might have lost Ira there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Usually that's the worst part. He's coming. Yeah, that part's a pain because not only is it um, muddy, but there, it's like a twisting corner. So it's not like you can like carry a lot of speed through there. You have to kind of go slow. So that makes it more annoying. But we'll just let the patent suspension eat up the rest of this. And here's a little brief section where you can kind of go a little fast. And we're done. Yeah, the only bad part is that mud right in the beginning. <laughs> I checked it out, man. I put a foot down. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. I was definitely unstable. Going straight. Oh. We can go faster.
I'm about ready to smash the GoPro into the into the asphalt. It's driving me crazy. Just reset again. All right. Got to make sure it's clear, and we will pass. You want to pass on a blind corner? You don't want to pass on a blind corner, right? Oh, okay. Slow down. Passing on the left. Here we go. Back then, I mean, he was just using your, your legs as suspension. He just, he got bounced right off. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't go all the way. He, he only did, try to do the first set. It's real. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, okay, so from here, because over there is downtown Naples. We're going to go that direction. Yeah, like the, the parks and rec system here in Collier County, it's like, it's, they spend tons of money. I mean, it's really, really nice. So I, I need to add some air to my tire or else I might try those steps again today. But, um... Since I don't know what my PSI is in my tire, I think it's a little low. I don't want to bend a rim. So uh, I'll do the little baby set you know, just for just for you extreme people out here because I know that you tune into this channel for nothing but extreme riding. And I intend to deliver. Extreme. Extreme. Nice, nice. Ira survived the steps in the extreme. All right, we're gonna go into town now. It's an underpass, and if you notice, there's footprints all over the walls. People come here and they put footprints on the walls, and, and the city's come in like 10 times and painted the walls again. And people keep putting footprints on the walls. So, I, don't, I think they gave up painting it now. All right, we're going this way. Yeah, it's nice down here. So like right down there, that's the uh, the Naples Pier. I got smashed by uh, Ida, the hurricane. They're going to rebuild it. And then right down, right by the pier, they usually set up um, volleyball nets on the weekends. So they got to set them up every every uh, time that they play. It's kind of annoying. Ta set them up and take them down. But the sand over here in the West Coast is definitely much finer than the East yes. Coast beaches. Much, Absolutely. much finer. Yep. Yeah. Because the, flat, the, the sand is flat and it's like packed, so you can actually jump on it a little bit. You know? Yeah, it's hard pack. Yeah. Just taking Ira up and down uh, Gulf Shore Boulevard a little bit so we can see some of the uh, the uh, high rent districts. Uh, there's a lot of mega mansions here as well. So yeah, it's always interesting to see how the uh, rich and famous live, right? So I took Ira a little further up here than I take most people. We're up on Gordon Drive. You know, Gulf Shore Boulevard has a lot of beautiful big houses. Gordon Drive is where the mega mansions are. I mean, just estates. They're, they're crazy. They look uh, palatial, some of them. You know, like this one up here on the left, that looks big, but it's, it's small compared to some of the ones that uh, we've gone past already. It's, uh, it's amazing how much, uh, how much house someone can actually uh, live in, I guess, right? Crazy. Let's see if we can get some examples here. Yeah, there you go. Looks like a looks like a hotel, right? You know, that's a that's a single family residence. Yeah, with a with their own dedicated security out front. Probably can't see through the bushes. Another huge estate. Not a blade of grass out of place. Everything is perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Get on a one wheel. He's on my video, I think. So I had this great idea to stop at the bowl. You know, I've stopped here before with other people. You know, they have great smoothies. Ira likes coffee, they have good coffee. Can you believe they're closed? Oh. You know, both Ira and I uh, didn't really think about uh, the fact that it's Easter and most people are probably having like Easter dinners and stuff now. And uh, yeah, a lot of businesses are closed. Imagine that, including Dunkin' Donuts. I don't even have Dunkin' Donuts as a backup plan, so we'll figure something out. All right, here's uh, the secondary steps that I did last time. Just gotta make sure I still remember how to do them. It's right here. They're not that bad. Extreme. They're just a little bit longer. Extreme. So even though supposedly they're closed, 
I'm gonna take Ira to Dunkin' Donuts. Just to say that Ira's at Dunkin' Donuts, I guess, over here. Yeah. Of course, it's not the same if you're not getting coffee and driving and riding with it, but, you know, it might be the best I can do today. Thanks. Yep, it's closed. Jeez. Aww. That thing looks closed, Ira. Yeah. <laughs> we tried. There's a, there's a Starbucks down here. I'm curious if they're open. Probably not, but I'll check. I mean, I can drink Starbucks in a pinch. Not my favorite, but we'll see. They're probably close too. Okay, even though I don't stop at Starbucks much, it was nice. I had a, like a vanilla oatmeal, oat milk latte iced. I was rather thirsty. So yeah, it wasn't bad, pretty good. Not, not horrible calorie wise, like some, uh, some Starbucks drinks, so I'm back on the road. Just kind of just taking him around anywhere, anywhere that kind of comes to mind. Not any big, uh, not any big agenda here. I used to run here. This is where I did some of my backwards training here. All right, so Ira and I are just going to do a quick swap -a here. Let him ride the, the uh, patent for a little bit, and I'll ride the extreme because I have not ridden the extreme, which is also a 16-inch wheel like the patent. Wow. How wide that is. Yeah, it does look wide, doesn't it? It's like a tabletop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is wide. Yeah, the the uh, the links is actually a little more narrow. Because it's crazy, the links in that way the same. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's a street tire? Yeah. Yeah, street tire. Nice. Yep. Get my feet in there. Alright. Get my stuff my feet wedged into these pads here. The Extreme is a, a performance 16-inch off-road wheel, which I've never ridden before. Oh my God, the suspension on the patent is so much better. <laughs> yeah, I, I am bottoming it out. Yeah, the, oh wow. Now he, I mean, Ira weighs a lot less than me, so. The suspension is tuned that way, but man, the, the patent suspension feels so much better. Oh my god. Don't ride on the left hand side, lady. Come on now. No better than that. Okay, I did a couple good leans here in the extreme. It has good power. Really good power. Suspension, uh, not loving it, and... The, the stock knobby tire, not loving the profile in the tire. My patent feels much more uh, agile than the Extreme does. At least my first five minute impression. Just showing Ira the pickleball facilities because it's super cool, all right? There's more quartz back there. I'm literally just taking Ira wherever. I'm just, yeah, yeah we, got, we got a battery. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna head, uh, East on the trail now, I believe. To where exactly, I'm not quite sure. But somewhere, I don't know. One of the negatives about the Extreme is it doesn't have big batteries, and this one has the 40 T cells, so it has even smaller capacity. So I'm down to two bars. We're not going that far yet, but uh, yeah. not super range on the Extreme. Not extreme, I range. Extreme! So this is called Eagle Lakes Park. This is another county park. Not a, this is an older park, not as fancy as some of the parks around here, but it's nice. Got a nice little path going around here. The, the extreme dropped the one battery bar, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, head back because we don't wanna we don't wanna be riding more than we have to in low battery. The the uh, the Lynx, I'm still at three batteries in the Lynx, but the Lynx has a bigger battery than an extreme, so. There's that. Quite interesting feeling the difference between the two wheels, though. I'm not, sh I'm not sure how long we've been out. We've been out for a while. Um, I don't my watch on. Had a good ride, though. We've been all over the place. And I, and actually, I didn't have any documentation on as far as how long of a ride this has been, mileage-wise. I'm guessing, I don't know, 30 miles, maybe? 30 miles plus? Yeah, based on how much battery I have on the 
Left in the patent, 30, 35 maybe. Not too shabby. We're back at the house. Ira's wheel is in beep mode. The downside of 40 T-cells. But it might be a chance for us to test out the Roger charger on his extreme. See how it works. This is the first time I've ow, worn this helmet that long. It's freaking squeezing the hell out of my head. Feels good to get it off. All right. Okay, my DJI mic is almost dead, so I need to talk quickly. Ira just hand, uh, headed out. Great ride with him, lots of fun. I'm glad Ira stopped over. Ira got to uh, charge his wheel, his extreme is almost out of battery. We charged it on the Roger charger and in like an hour and a half, it went from beeping at like, I don't know, 10, 10%, 20% to uh, full. So he's very impressed with the Roger charger. Roger, you're probably gonna get an order from Ira. Uh, you're welcome, uh, went really well. So it was a lot of fun having him over. Thank you for coming over, Ira. Hope everybody has a great Easter. I've never spent an Easter uh, riding with someone, so that was kind of cool. And uh, that's all I have. That's all I have for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please think about giving the video a big thumbs up. If this is your first vi time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Big thanks to my channel members. Uh, last time I checked, I think I have 22 channel members now, believe it or not. Um, if you're interested in finding out the benefits of membership, you can hit the join button. It'll tell you about uh, what kind of benefits you get. There are a number of perks and it's very inexpensive. So that's one nice way to support the channel. Aww.